Hey, hey, what's up, guys? This is Gary Gilgan with the Daily Crypto Report. Today is Tuesday, August 15th, 2017. I hope everybody out there is having a phenomenal day. <clears throat> Bit of a sea of red today on coin market cap, Bitcoin down. 2% Ethereum down, 4% Ripple down, 6%, just everything down. IOTA, however, up 6.4%. Litecoin, NEM down 6.5%. NEO down 13%. Dash down 2%, Ethereum Classic rounding out the top 10 at 3.5% down. So the only, the only coin in the top 10 that is not in the red today is IOTA. So it was a big week last week. Obviously, there's going to be some cooling down. Whenever you have a week like we had last week with all of these coins, NEO, especially NEO and Bitcoin, the biggest gainers last week, NEO with over 100% gains, and Bitcoin, hell man, Bitcoin up probably around 25, 30% gains, and NEO, NEO I should say as well, or excuse me, IOTA producing, you know, nearly 100% ROIs. Definitely 100%. It's exciting stuff. I'm a little somber today uh, in regards to what happened last week in uh, Charlottesville. You know, what, what really bugs me the most, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, um, is the fact that if I wasn't in Charlottesville. I'm in Boise, Idaho, all the way on the other side of the world. But to me, it's just, it's sad that there are people in America with these views that, you know, that I don't know if it's about race, if it's about skin color, but if it is, it's just really pathetic that there are people on this planet still who feel that they're superior to another human being because of the color of their skin. Um, that's just, to me, it's a sure sign of ignorance. And we are, I believe that we are evolving to a new type of world, a new paradigm where we all realize that we are all one. We are all one race or one species which is the human being. And color of skin, nationality, those types of things, they just don't belong in this new paradigm. And so to see some of those pictures with these protesters, these nationalists or whatever they are, you know, if there are Nazis, you know, if there are these white supremacists, you know, to me, that is just a sure sign of ignorance. And, you know, the chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And if the American people have individuals who still believe that they are superior to another set or class or genre of people, then that is a sure sign of ignorance. And America, that's pathetic. That's really pathetic. Uh, I believe in a world where we are all united. We are all living in peace. We are all living in, in harmony. And all it takes is a simple change of perspective to see that, hey, we're all one. We're all one people living on this planet together. So we need to work together to create abundance and share the resources and you know, be one regardless of color of skin or religious beliefs, things like that. It's just, uh, it's too bad. But I see that it's the very end. This is the end, guys. It's here, it's knocking on the doorstep. You know, it happened last year, 
And early this year, when Donald Trump was elected and became president, there was riots in the street. There were protesters in the street. You know, the women took the street. The, the, the liberals took the street. And again, I'm not, I'm not religious and I'm not trying to make this religious at all. This is just, this is writing on the wall, guys. There's crazy stuff that's about to happen. There's going to be civil unrest on American soil. And you have to prepare. You have to save your money. You have to get your money out of dollars. You have to get your, put your money somewhere safe where you are in control of it, not the banks, not the government, not these centralized systems, but you take back control of you, your survival tool, which is money. Take it back. Do not use their system anymore. And you need to get provisions. You need to have food. You need to have water. You need to have the ability to protect yourself in case shit gets crazy. And over the next 12 to 18 months, I do believe shit is going to get crazy because since day one, since day one of Donald Trump being elected, being inaugurated, coming into power, there's been nothing but the contention has only strengthened. It's only gotten bigger. And now with what happened over the past weekend, I don't know the whole story. I try not to pay attention to that. I'm trying to create a new world, not even focus on the old system, but this is gonna spread. I live in Idaho and I believe that there's a potential, that there's a lot of these nationalist, Nazi, white supremacist type people in these parts. And so for me, that's scary because I don't, I, I don't believe in violence, going out and actually looking for it. I don't believe that I'm better than anybody on this planet. I believe that we are all one and we all need to come together as one. And we need to boycott this system. Stop contributing to the system. Let's create something better. Let's create this cryptocurrency. Invest in cryptocurrency. This is... This is it. This is what can save us all is cryptocurrency and the underlying technology, the transparency, things like that. It's, it's going to get crazy, guys, but it's gonna get, it has to get its darkest before the dawn. It's darkest before the dawn, and it's probably only 11 o'clock at night. So we got a long way to go in this whole thing, and it's going to get crazy for a little bit. But I also believe that after that craziness, it's going to subside. And the future that we're going to build together is an amazing utopia on planet Earth. I really do believe that. So uh, big things happen. Big things are happening. You know, bit, probably the biggest thing to start off with is Bitcoin hitting over four thousand dollars where we are right now four thousand one hundred and thirty dollars breaking records after the august 1st hard fork that everybody was so fearful of myself included the market last month the first couple of weeks leading up to august 1st absolute pandemonium things were going crazy ethereum lose just tanking all of these cryptos tanking and then just bouncing back after the first we're having it's a cool off right now if you got money this is a great time to get in especially with coins like neo down 13 percent to me the way i see it is you're going to make an instant 13 percent roi on your money because it's definitely going to rebound and it's going to have even greater all-time highs so all of these that are in the red, you know, 10x down 11%, Veritasium down 11%, Civic down 10%. These are, this is instant gains, instant gains. So get on that. Bahrain looking to join the blockchain consortium. A lot of these countries in the Middle East, 
very progressive company uh, countries, they're hopping on. They're hopping on. It's the more westernized cultures, especially the United States and the, the American people who are very skeptical of cryptocurrency. Whereas Asia, the Middle East, Latin America, they're opening up big time to this new technology. Everywhere I've been seeing for the past couple of days, everybody's talking about Bitcoin is in a bubble. Here's another article, Bitcoin price in, the, in a tulip bubble. If you know anything about the tulip craze in Amsterdam, um, I believe back in the 17 or 1800s, very interesting story, just continues to blow up more and more and more. But I think the, the biggest story more and more investors are transferring their funds into cryptocurrencies. What are the potential reasons and trends? Bitcoin's role in global markets has become clear amidst rising tension between the US and North Korea. Investors have started to include Bitcoin in their portfolios as a safe haven asset due to its immutability to economic uncertainty and the instability of global markets. It is its own market. It is its own ecosystem that is completely separate from the New York Stock Exchange, from the American political and central banking systems. Very, very awesome. Analysts, including InvestFeed CEO Ron Chernsky, and Jeff Rosenberg, fixed income strategist at BlackRock, a US-based investment management company with over 5.7 trillion in assets. I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually working on starting, setting up my own hedge fund. My goal over the next 20 years is 1 trillion in assets under management. And I believe that BlackRock is owned by, oh, I thought it was uh, Ray Dalio, but um, <clears throat> noted that the intensified conflict between the US and North Korea has led to equity market sell-off and ultimately to midterm economic uncertainty. As a result, Chernsky, Chernesky explained that a rapidly rising number of investors and traders have begun to shift their focus toward Bitcoin as a safe haven asset and long-term investment. Chernesky said, we're seeing investors transferring their funds into cryptocurrencies as they try to diversify their risk in case of a severe downturn in the market. So we're seeing the masses change the direction of the boat. I've been saying this, it's happening even faster than I even suspected. People are going to start to cash out their 401ks, mutual funds, money market accounts, IRAs. They're going to start dumping these old, antiquated, inefficient investment vehicles, and they're going to go into cryptocurrencies. This is going to be, we haven't seen anything yet, people. Cryptocurrency is going to be the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of human culture, period. Niche markets. Today, it is difficult to argue that the Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies industries are niche markets, mostly because of the cryptocurrencies mar cryptocurrency market staggering $139 billion market cap. We have raised the market cap 30, over 39 billion. I believe it dipped below 100 billion less than a month ago. So in less than a month, we have grown at least $39 billion. And the daily trading volume of 5.6 billion through strictly regulated Bitcoin exchanges and trading platforms, verified investors and traders can obtain high liquidity. 
already investment banks, including Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan, along with multi-billion dollar investment firms such as Fidelity, have started to encourage their clients, investors, and portfolio managers to consider investing in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Considering the market's growth and exponential increase in global adoption. <laughs> I'm so pumped on this. You're going to get rich. If you take action, you will get rich. Oh my gosh, this is just the beginning, people. This is a worldwide market. That's just one of many attributes that makes Bitcoin so much better than any stock, securities investment, IRA, mutual fund, money market account, any of that stuff. If you're, <clears throat> if your financial advisor is trying to sell you a mutual fund at even a 13% return, you're getting ripped off. You're getting ripped off. There are other investments out there. Risk is relative. I believe you are just as, you're taking just as much risk, if not more, in dollar-backed investments than anything else. You are going to wake up one day and your investments are going to be zero. Because the dollar is going to zero. Zero, people. Within the next 10 years, there will be, the dollar will be worthless. You will be able to, you'll be burning it for heat. Mark my words. I've been studying this for 11 years. I thought it would have happened already. I thought it would have happened already. But now I see that the writing is on the wall. It's here. Especially with this past weekend and what I saw, pictures. Again, I wasn't there. I don't know the whole story. So I am reading into propaganda that I've seen on the internet. I don't watch TV. I don't watch the news. So I don't know what's going on. All I know is what's going on in my local community. And if something happens, I'm prepared. But I believe even in my local community, I'm afraid, not emotionally, but logically, I'm afraid that there are a lot of so-called nationalists in my backyard. And I'm not okay with that because that goes against my beliefs. And I'm not going to go deep into my beliefs. I just, I want everybody on this planet to win. I want everybody on this planet to get rich. Every person. I don't want more for myself than I want for my neighbor. But it, and at the end of the day, if my neighbor doesn't want as much as I do, then we're no better than one another. He can have everything that he wants. She can have whatever she wants and I can have whatever I want. We already have that today. And it saddens me that there are people on this planet that still believe that they are better than other people because of the color of their skin. That's retarded thinking. And I don't mean that word in a derogatory sense. I mean that in a evolutionary sense that you're either advancing or you're retarding and to think that you're better than someone else because of the color of your skin is retarded thinking you're going backwards and you know what if there are people like that they can go to war with themselves and they can kill each other off because they're not willing to change their way of thinking to see that we live in a whole new world where we are all one connected by this thing called the internet, connected by this thing called cryptocurrency. We don't live in that world anymore. And I, for one, do not support that. I do not stand for that. I'm here to create something different. I'm here to create something better.